Welcome to a 10-minute Ashtanga yoga practice, perfect for when time is short in the morning or if you need a midday boost. Come to the top of the mat, samastitihi, focusing on the breath. Release the hands to the side and inhale, taking the arms up, Surya Namaskara A. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lifting the head up, and exhale, step the right foot back and lower down to a low push-up. Inhale, lifting the chest up, and exhale, pressing up and back, downward facing dog. Try to externally rotate the scapula away from the spine. Maybe there's a slight bend in the elbows, Lifting the hips up by an inner rotation of the thighs. Keeping the focus on the breath. And inhale, lifting the head up, step the right foot forward. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, taking the arms up, palms touch above the head. And exhale, release the hands to the side. And again, inhale, arms up, palms touch. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lifting the head up. And exhale, step the left foot back this time. Lowering all the way down by pulling the heart forward and down. Keep the scapula retracting towards the spine as you inhale and then exhale, press, lifting the hips up and back. Legs are in inner rotation, so the knees are turning towards each other. Again, the arms are in an external rotation, trying to take the scapula away from the spine. At the same time, try to draw the scapula away from the ears, up towards the hips. And inhale, lift the head up, stepping the left foot towards the hands, inhale and exhale, lower the head down. Inhale, taking the arms up, palms touch above the head, and exhale, releasing the hands. Last one, inhale the arms up, exhale, lowering down. Inhale, lifting the head, and exhale, walk, step, or jump back, trying to land with the hips on the floor, keeping the scapula retracted down the spine. Inhale the chest up, and exhale, tuck the toes under, press into the hands, take the hips up and back. Again, external rotation of the arms. One. Two. Three, four, five. Exhale the breath completely. Walk, step, or jump the feet towards the hands. Inhale, lifting the head up. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, taking the arms up. Palms touch above the head. And exhale, release the hands to the side. Surya Namaskara B, bending the knees all the way down. Keep the knees in inner rotation. Exhale, lower down. Straight legs. Inhale the head up. And exhale, walk step or jump the feet back. Inhale, pulling the heart forward and up. Scapula retract towards the spine. Exhale, press the hips up and back. Step the right foot in between the hands. 
Keep the back leg in an external rotation, staying here five breaths, two, three. Keep lifting the inner arch of the back foot by pressing down through the outer edge of the heel, four, five. Plant the hands down, step the right leg back, lower all the way down to a low push-up. Inhale, lifting the chest. Exhale, take the hips up and back. Now, the left foot steps forward. The back leg stays in an external rotation. One, keep the back leg in an external rotation, but try to reach the right hip forward so that you're accessing the right side of the hip flexor muscle. Three, four, keep lifting the inner arch of the foot and exhale, step the left foot back, lower down. All the way. Keep the scapula retracting towards the spine as you inhale and exhale the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Keep the scapula retracting away from the spine. External rotation of the arms. This time there's an inner rotation of the legs. Three. four, five, exhale the breath completely, walk step, jump the feet forward, inhaling the head up, exhale lower down, bending the knees all the way down into a squat, take the arms up, Utkatasana, pausing here, five breaths, one, Inner rotation of the leg, drop the tailbone down towards the floor. Two, keep pressing the palms together. The arms are in an external rotation, taking the scapula away from the spine. Five, straighten the legs. Utita Trikonasana, step the right foot back, take the arms out to the side. Extend down towards the right big toe. Maybe the hand reaches towards the shin, maybe the ankle, eventually maybe grabbing a hold of the toe. Try to keep the back leg in an external rotation. Three. Four. Five, inhale, rising all the way up. Turn the right toes in, left toes turn to face the front. As you exhale, extending down, maybe the left hand reaches towards the shin. Again, maybe it touches onto the ankle or eventually holds onto the big toe, but keep the right leg in an external rotation, trying to reach and lift the inner arch of the right foot up as you gaze towards the right thumb. Four. Five. Inhale, rising all the way up. Keeping the feet apart, take the hands at the hips. Prasarita Parottanasana. B. Keeping the hands at the hips, lower down. Keep the legs in an inner rotation, tipping the weight in towards the big toes, quadriceps active. Three, try to pull the scapula away from the ears. Four. Five, inhale, rising all the way up. Going right to C, inhale, take the arms apart. Exhale, squeeze the palms together, finding an inner rotation of the arms. As you exhale, extending forward, the legs are also in an internal rotation, pressing down through the big toes, quadriceps are active. Three. Four, keeping the inner rotation of the legs. 
five. Inhale, rising all the way up. And moving into Parshvottanasana. Taking the hands behind the back, either holding onto opposite elbows or doing full reverse prayer. As you extend down over the straight right leg, keep the back leg in an external rotation, trying to lift the inner arch of the left foot. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, rising up, turning to the front. As you extend down over the left leg, keep the right leg in an external rotation, keeping the right hip lifted. Both legs, external rotation, pressing down through the left big toe. Left quadricep is active, but don't forget about the back leg. It stays in an external rotation. Four. Five. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, stepping the feet to touch at the top of the mat, bringing the hands to the abdomen, focusing on the breath, keeping the chest lifted, scapula retracting down the spine, feeling the energy that you've created in your short 10 minute practice. It's going to go a long way through the rest of your day. Bringing the hands together in front of the heart, giving thanks. Thank you for sharing your practice. Thank you for sharing your day. And remember, no mistakes. <laughs>